I'm Lori Brown, an associate professor at Western Michigan University, the College of Aviation, and I've been teaching there since 2001. And I started off in 2001 teaching advanced aircraft systems after I had come directly from the commercial airline industry. And one thing I noticed was the tools that we had in the classroom. At that time, it sounds kind of funny, but at that time we actually had transparencies, and of course we had PowerPoints and textbooks. So I began thinking, how can we take the student from that classroom environment, learning the theory, onto the application mode, whether it be in a simulator, which may be one or two million dollars a piece of equipment, or to an aircraft to actually apply that knowledge. So over the past 10 years, I've really been in search for something to bridge that gap. Then I started seeing a lot of the evolution of augmented reality in the medical community. And when people think of augmented reality, they very often think of virtual reality, picturing someone with a big closed headset on. But actually with augmented reality, it simply overlays digital content over our real world environment. So therefore, we can mix our digital interests and content in our real life content. So I started getting interested at that point and found some really good models from the medical community. One specifically was with the human body. So if you picture students in a medical environment and perhaps they need to learn all the bones of the skeleton. So they're able to put on augmented reality glasses and see and actually interact with every bone. And that's really where I got my inspiration because looking inside the components of a jet engine is very much like looking inside the human body. So to give you an example, I can take a, a written exam where very often we might see a multiple choice question with multiple choice answers we can overlay augmented reality aircraft systems information and then ask the student to answer the question based on what they're seeing. And this type of method takes a much higher level of learning. It actually uh, needs them to apply critical thinking and analysis. So that's one part. The other part and advantage is really engaging the student. We've got a next generation of learners here. We want them to be engaged. We want them to be immersed. And the research shows us that immersing students and um, having them see 3D models or videos or augmented reality has been proven to increase their performance, their situational awareness, and as equally important, their retention. Collaboration is a big part of creating uh, rich quality augmented reality content. And I've found that with my aviation background, it does give me the subject matter knowledge, but it does not give me the technical knowledge to create the rich content that I'd like to have. So by collaborating with other colleges, such as the College of Engineering, and collaborating with other universities, and collaborating with graphic arts, and um, opportunities to use 3D scanners and have students build some of the 3D models, really helps us to provide quality content at a much faster scale. Additionally, the use of augmented reality in aviation is, is only just beginning. It's not new, but it's only just beginning. So if we can collaborate and share best practices, uh, not only here at the university, but really throughout the globe, then we can move augmented reality into aviation and other industries along much faster and with better quality. Uh, many uh, industry partners are starting to use augmented reality. Uh, you may have seen some of the fabulous work that BMW has done, that Audi has done, Volkswagen has done. But I'm quite impressed in aviation to look at the work that Lockheed Martin has done where they're really leading the way. They're using augmented reality smart glasses for their maintenance technicians who repair uh, fighter jets for the military. So they simply put on the glasses and the uh, maintenance technicians are then able to actually see the part numbers, the aircraft manuals, and their maintenance plans. And that alleviates that alleviates the need for using their hands to look at an aircraft manual or something like that. 